Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Thought you'd get free care if you fell sick in Spain? Britain's held hostage by foreign hospitals. EU's young and jobless, Portugal's brain drain, 60% of young Greeks are unemployed. EU pesticide ban to save bees may curb rapeseed production. Canada-EU free trade talks hung up on beef market access issue. Plus, EU Commission re-examines Belgium funds for steel group to Furco. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, holidaymakers face being denied medical help or having to pay huge hospital bills because clinics in cash-strapped EU nations are refusing to treat them. British tourists have been urged not to rely on the European Health Insurance Card, which is supposed to give all EU citizens access to state medical care in member countries. Hundreds are being held hostage by hospitals who are rejecting the cards and demanding travel insurance cover the cost of medical care. Some patients who do not have travel insurance cover are being turned away or made to pay on the spot. The problem is understood to be rife in Spain and there have been reported incidents in Greece and Portugal too. Low wages and a lack of available jobs are plaguing the EU's young and educated. Greece's 15 to 24 year olds are facing unprecedented levels of unemployment, while Portugal is witnessing a mass exodus as endemic joblessness drives its youth abroad. The UN Labour Office predicts a global rise in unemployment of 12.8% by 2018. Across the wealthier regions surveyed on current youth unemployment levels, including the European Union, the rate stood at a 10-year high of 18.1% in 2012 and is expected to remain above 17% until at least 2016. Only six countries, Austria, Germany, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway and Switzerland, had youth unemployment rates below 10%. Greece is not one of them. Rapeseed production is likely to fall in the European Union, top grower of the oilseed, from the 2015 harvest after the bloc voted to protect bees by banning three of the most widely used pesticides. The EU has decided to restrict from December 1st the use of a class of pesticides known as the neonicotinoids, which have been linked to a plunge in the bee population. Rapeseed is one of the crops most at risk because of the wide use of neonicotinoids as seed treatments and the fact that alternatives are less effective. We are facing the danger of substantial loss of rapeseed crop yields, but it is not possible to say precisely what, said Manuela Specht, spokeswoman for German Oilseed Industry Association, UFOP. The Canada-European Union free trade talks are nearing an end, with agricultural issues the last major stumbling block to an agreement both sides say will boost economic growth, the EU ambassador Matthias Brinkman said on Thursday. In a freewheeling discussion with Canadian reporters, Brinkman suggested most of the issues in the four-year talks had been resolved and are close to being resolved, and that two specific sticking points how much Canadian beef to Europe and how much European cheese to Canada is keeping the sides from a deal. The European Commission is considering reopening a three-year-old case to examine whether funds granted by Wallonia region of Belgium to steel company De Furco were illegal state subsidies, a Commission source said. There is heated political debate over the industrial policy the EU should undertake to help the steel sector, which faces plant closures and job losses. While the EC Competition Department is looking into the legality of the funds given to privately owned Deferco Group, other departments of the Commission are drawing upon an action plan that could introduce state aid to the steel sector. Today in our video library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. 
We thought it would be an interesting idea to take a look at some of the other videos that have been produced and so through the month of May I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, you could really help us a great deal with our documentary and contest entry by subscribing to our channel, rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, but I'd prefer like please, and most importantly sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So, without further ado, today's video, which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere playlist, is Up in Arms by the YouTuber known as Clown Fist. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>